Hey everyone, today I created this matte smoky eye with winged liner and a vampy lip. So yeah, if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So as you can see, I've already done my brows off camera today and I have primed my lids. So I'm jumping straight into eyeshadow and I'm using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows today and I'm starting with the shade Frappe. And I'm just taking that on a Morphe M441 and placing it in the crease all the way from outer corner to inner corner. Then I am picking up Cocoa Bear and this is such a beautiful warm brown shade and I am just going to focus that more on the outer V. And this brush actually tapers in at the end so it's really nice when you want to be precise too. So I'm just going to build that shade up until I'm happy with the colour payoff. Now I thought I would bring some red to this look so I am picking up Bitten and I'm using the exact same brush and I'm just going to focus that slightly lower and yeah just bring some depth to that outer corner. Now because I want to go even deeper I'm going to pick up Americano and I'm going to use a pencil brush now. This is just more dense so it's going to give more colour payoff and then when I'm happy with the amount of product I've got there I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush, blend it all out and with whatever's left on my brush I'm going to sweep all the way to the inner corner. Now just to brighten up that inner corner a bit I'm picking up white lies and I'm just taking a flat shader brush, this one's from Zoeva, and I'm just going to pat that on my lid. But then as you can see, I thought it came off quite patchy, so I decided to go in with Peach Smoothie instead. And then yeah, once that's on, I will go back in with my big fluffy brush and blend it all out. So for my wing today, I'm using the Morphe Gel Liner in the shade Slate. And I'm going to apply that with my favourite liner brush, this is the 317 from Zoeva. And I'm just going to basically do a nice thin line all the way across my lid and then I'll go and make the shape of my wing. Yeah, usually I use the Maybelline gel liner, but this is my first time trying this and I really really love this liner. Um, it's nice and black and very very creamy and easy to work with. So yeah, this is definitely a new favourite. I wanted to go for a more cat eye effect today so I'm taking Lily Lashes in the style Sydney and I'm just going to first apply those um, but yeah these are just really nice and fluffy and they flare out on the outer corner so they're perfect for that kind of look. Then I'm going to go back in with my gel and just make sure there are no gaps and no glue showing through. Moving on to my face, I'm using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter just to prep the skin and I'm going to just put that on my face with a Real Techniques Duo Fibre Stippling Brush. Basically I just had black gel liner all over my hand and I just thought, oh, nobody wants to see that, so don't do it. Then I'm taking the EX1 Invisawear Foundation in the shade F300 and um, yeah, as you can see I've used quite a lot of mine already and I probably will repurchase it. It's a very, very nice foundation. I think I first used it because I saw Kylie Jenner use it or something. But yeah, anyway, it ended up being really nice. It's more of a medium coverage, I think. Um, but I think that's what I like about it. You can, it still looks like skin. So yeah, I'm just going to pounce that all into my skin with the Beauty Blender before going in with concealer. And for concealer, I will be using, I've got it in my hand, it's the Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade medium light neutral and yeah I'm just going to place it in a triangle shape under my eyes and then on the high points of my face then I will blend that all out with the beauty blender
powder today. I'm using the Laura Mercy A Loose Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just taking my Damp Beauty Blender and making sure there are no creases. And then I'm going to bake. But yeah, as I've said before, I am more on the dry side. So I just can't leave it for too long. But yeah, I'm going to bring it in nice and close to the sides of my nose. And this just helps to give that contoured effect without contouring. Then I'm going to take my big fluffy brush to set the rest of my face before dusting off my under eyes. I'm taking this shade here from the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette just to chisel out my cheekbones. And yeah, to be honest, I really have not picked this up since I've had the Kat Von D one. And I totally forgot how much I loved it. But yes, anyway, moving on to bronzer. I'm using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Solo Bronzer. I can never go wrong with this. And so yeah, I'm just going to warm up my cheeks with that and the tops of my forehead. This is my first time trying the NYX Ombre Blush in the shade Strictly Chic. And this is such a beautiful peachy shade. But after all that, I thought I looked slightly powdery. So I thought I would spritz myself with some MAC Fix Plus just to help all those powders sink in. And then I'm moving on to highlight. But before I did highlight, I forgot. I actually haven't done my inner corner. So I'm using the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights highlighter palette. And I took that pink shade for my inner corner and then the first gold shade for my cheekbones, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow, and bridge of the nose. So now I'm picking up Bitten on a flat definer brush and I'm just sweeping that from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. Then I'm going to do the same with Americano, kind of focusing it more on the outer corner though. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and use Frappe and just blend all of those out. For lips today I'm using Dose of Colors Mood Liquid Lipstick and I'm just going to put that all over my lips. But yeah, as the camera does, it didn't pick up this shade nearly as much as it should have. This is a very beautiful colour. I also gave my lower lashes a coat of mascara off camera, and this is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big, big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, I will see you in my next tutorial.